Hi. I'd just like you to join me in having a quick look at something. Yes, it's a tube map. It's November 2022 20, one. And as you can see, it looks very, very cramped and crowded. But the good thing is, Shenfield, Stratford, Whitechapel, Whitechapel, Farringdon, Tottenham Court Road, Bond Street, Paddington, Inning Broadway, Heathrow's, Heathrow Terminals, I should say. And all the way out to Reading, the Elizabeth line is shown as one through route. Although at the moment, Shenfield only goes as far as Paddington. And it's the Abbey Wood branch down here. Goes from left, from right to left, all the way out to Reading and Heathrow. But, alright, it's one change of train. But, at least you can, it saves a the uh, route marches across the concourses here at Liverpool Street and Paddington, which could add a good 15 to 20 minutes to your journey on the Elizabeth Line, wherever you was due to be travelling. Um, the other good thing is, over here, it shows Barking Riverside Station has now opened. Um, there's one omission still, but I'm not going to be too overly concerned by it is between is it Hendon Crickle at Hendon and Mill Hill Broadway somewhere along there you're due to have Brent Cross West Station opening um, within the next few weeks I believe before Christmas um, and it's not marked but the tube map it looks crowded but it's good to see it is now all up to date and showing through services running on the Elizabeth line it shows Barking Riverside is open. The only thing TFL will need to do now is to get the Tube and National Rail Maps on their stations all updated because they're still showing out of date and that is not good. As I've said in another video on this channel, not everybody relies on digital information. They don't have it all, have it on their phones. Come on TFL.